Hello fabulous humans, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then well, hello, how you doing? Welcome. You just slipped into the most fabulous place on YouTube and I'm so happy to have you here. Well, now that I have you here, before you get too comfortable and get carried away, because, you know, it's so easy to get carried away when you're over here. I need you to do a couple of things. You need to subscribe to the channel, become part of the Glitter and Glam Squad so we can shine together. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will always be notified when I upload a new video. And while you're at it, hit the thumbs up button so YouTube knows that little old me, I need a little shiny, 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 yeah. Ooh, all of this winnings, all of this winnings. I had to add that in, okay? Because this is the month of April. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much for the support. It means a lot to me. I truly, truly appreciate you. Now, I had to whip out the shine and shining because, you know, it's the month of April. It's my birthday month. Don't ask me what I'm doing because, child, I'm, I'm one of those people. I'd be hyping stuff up and on that day, I'd be like, I don't want to do anything. <laughs> but April is my birthday month, which brings us to today's video. Today's video is about April perfume tray. These are the fragrances that I will be wearing the month of April. April is also another month where I'll be testing. I have some fragrances that I'm expecting. So look out for that because I'm going to be creating a video on that. I also have a bunch of stuff that I'm testing out. A couple of people sending me some fragrances to test out as well. So my perfume tray is going to be full of testers again. I did so in March and I'll be doing so in April, but I'll be creating content around that. However, I still have some amazing fragrances that I will be putting on the tray that I'll be wearing because it's a birthday month, so we gotta be... <sighs> April gotta be given. <laughs> it has to give. So, if you wanna know the fragrances that are gonna be on the April tray, because the April tray gotta be heavy. It gotta be heavy. It has to give money. It has to give wealth. So, if you wanna know the fragrances that made it to the April tray, then you know what? Go grab yourself some tea. For me, um, juice. Honest juice. I am I love this. This is my son's. But go grab yourself a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, wine, you know, Casamigos, whatever have you. And um, come right back and let's get into some things. That night I said I was recording late. I wasn't recording late, I was just smoking, chilling at a cup of drinks. Before we get into the meat and potatoes, you know, high heels on my tippies. Box some plumbing gloss, that's what? On my lippy. Woo! See, ever since I started hitting the boots, Nicki Minaj has been shaking in her boots. Listen, I gave her 48 hours to respond the last time she didn't respond. Now I'm giving her another 24 because I just hit that bar right there. But this is in the shade Ryan, and that's what I have on. And I have a Max Lip um, Pencil in Vino, and then I have Ryan on. You know, my upper lip, I always plump because it is what it is. You guys know I love a good plumping gloss. This is sticky, but I love it. The first fragrance I have on my April perfume tray is a newbie. Brand new fragrance that I picked up. Listen, someone in the comments actually predicted this fragrance and i'm like wait what um you guys pulling cards now i've been talking about how i wanted to pick up a fragrance from the elevated line from ferragamo and um at first i, I didn't want to say the brand and then i said ferragamo tell me why someone in the comments knew that it was this fragrance and i'm like am i that predictable anyways um this is by Ferragamo, it's from the Tuscan Creations collection and it's called La Cote and it comes in this really nice box, like this came in a really nice box, I brought out the fragrance, but um, you know they were given packaging, but this right here is the fragrance, it is called La Cote, La Cote, La Cote, <laughs> but this is La Cote by Ferragamo, this is from the Elevated line, now this fragrance is a jasmine fragrance, so I think that's why it was predicted. And I love that the um, the cap is leather. 
it feels a bit very sleek slightly masculine but i love it and the bottle is really nice this is 100 ml and i picked this up from joba shop but this originally retails for 320 and i got this from joma shop for a steal and uh whew, that automizer is sickening and this is ah this is a jasmine fergus so you guys know that jasmine is my girl so she is coming out this is stunning exquisite this is you know when we talk perfume listen the elevated line of designer fragrances have been giving me what I have been looking for. Like the, the formulation, the just the craftsmanship of the fragrances are amazing. Like I'm blown away. This is very heavy on the jasmine. So you have to love jasmine to love this. So if you do not love jasmine, I would say stay away from this fragrance. This is a true jasmine fragrance. And... It reminds me of the Jasmine Fragrance by Golan. I think it's called Jasmine Bo... I'm going to put it right here. <laughs> but it reminds me of that. It also is a bit reminiscent of Portrayal by Amouage. But, but Portrayal by Amouage has that Elemi and Tobacco. I think it's just the Jasmine that makes it similar. Also, if you like Safanade by Parfums de Mali, you would like this. Ah, this is so good. In the top notes, you get Indian Jasmine white lily almond milk and frasia and in the middle notes you get jasmine and white lily so it's like a white floral bomb and in the base you get bourbon vanilla amber white amber actually and cashmere wood and you know portrayal also has vanilla in it but this reminds me of portrayal so i absolutely love it this was a love at first sniff for me it smells so elegant it smells so opulent it smells so well put together although they said this is for men and women i can see why but this to me yeah it is unisex now that it's drying down is very very reminiscent of portrayal so i am so happy to have this in my collection this is exquisite it is so good i love this so i'm kicking off the month of april with this brand spanking new fragrance from ferragamo the second fragrance on my april perfume tray is she came out of the bakery <laughs> she is out of the bakery and she is ready <laughs> This is my, you know, Bake by Acro. I have brought her out of the bakery. You know, Lueve sent her back to the bakery and kept her in there and didn't let her come outside. But she's been coming out lately. And <sighs> this is such a beautiful lemon gourmand fragrance. It's like a lemon cake with whipped cream topping. And the whipped cream is like a zesty lemon whipped cream with sugar. Like this is sugar zesty lemon. I absolutely love this. This is such a beautiful scent. Look at my big dent before she got pushed aside by Opera. But I love bake. I douse myself in bake. I told the aromatic doctor this. I told her, I said, God bless the day you sent me the dapper version of bake. Because that's what kicked off this. This is my kind of gourmand. This woke up the gourmand girl in me this is the kind of gourmand that i love this is so unique it's so beautiful and this is way more long lasting than the dapper version one and i really love this this is such a beautiful fragrance the next one is the fragrance that i told you will be on it was on march tray it was going to be april it was going to be may it was going to be june just get ready for it <sighs> my girl opera this is opera el el teatro real oh yes yes we oui, we oui. you know this is the real hallelujah fragrance this is a jasmine fragrance there's jasmine there's benzoin and they say spicy notes i don't know what's in there i cannot believe that this sold out i was i woke up i wanted to go buy a backup bottle i woke up i got on drama and it was gone i was like look at me moving units in the streets like bricks i'm moving bricks in the streets like oh give me my tens i'm like oh did I, who did i don't care what anybody says i did that <laughs> okay i was like i'm moving weights i'm moving units in the streets you know what you just gotta do you gotta your cut is 50 my cut 950 sissy like give me my tens then take away two i ate i win this is a winner fragrance and i am so happy if you guys were able to get your hands on opera uh 
let me know in the comments below if you're able to buy it on drama shop and you love it or you don't like it still let me know in the comments below but this sold out here and i'm looking to see if they will restock and if they do i will be purchasing a backup bottle because i want to always have this fragrance i love it it's such a beautiful fragrance and this is on the april tray because you know birthday month i need the best of the best i only want to smell like top tier top tier top tier next fragrance on my april tray is um carmina by creed now carmina uh oh, oh. Is that fragrance that uh i feel it i feel it i'm bringing her out for april as well i think she may make it through may but after may i'll probably slow down on her but i absolutely love her she this is a dark cherry and amber fragrance it smells so luxurious it smells lavish it's such a beautiful beautiful scent now when i was at the creek counter i did get a sample of wind flowers and i based off of reading the notes of wind flowers i was gonna get it like in 2022 the reviews on fragrantica were not too good so i was like oh, maybe i won't like it you know i'm in my deep dark era i was back then now i'm in my soft girl era so i didn't get it every time i wanted to get it, i'm like you know what let me try it so when i got a sample and i tried it i was like i love this why are people talking about it wind flowers is gorgeous I layered it with this and I got compliments. But you know with Creed, I feel like Creed doesn't last as long. So you're going to be getting the compliments as it's hot. So once you put it on, one hour, two hours, you'll be getting the compliments for the first couple of hours. After then, the compliments starts to dwindle. I have been layering Carmina with the darker version of Stella Times by Louis Vuitton. And since I don't have wind flowers, I've been using this, which brings me to the next fragrance on the April tray. This is the dapper version of Stella Times by Louis Vuitton. On my skin, this fragrance smells like Stella Times, <laughs> like it does. The first burst is not exactly Stella Times, but once it starts to settle in and settle into your skin, it is <laughs> spot on. And it's such a beautiful fragrance. I have been using her. Look at my dent so far. This is a 50 ml and it was on sale. So I'm happy to have this. And since it's on sale, I was like, maybe I need to pick up a second one. It has kind of cured my itch for Stella Times because I saw that Stella Times price has gone up. I think now it's like over 600. I'm like, look, like really? Like what's going on? What's really going on? Over six. So, however this is so cheap you cannot beat the price with a stick and i've been using this and i love it another fragrance that will be on my april perfume tray that i've been using stellar times with is guidance by amouage i'm still gonna wear guidance in april i'm gonna wear guidance in may june july august even when it's like 110 degrees out in texas i will wear this and it will be sticky and i won't care <laughs> that's how much i love guidance I don't know what to say. I don't care how sticky it gets outside. I'm still going to wear it. This is the only exception. When I went for Dallas Fashion Week, I wore Guidance and I put um, this uh, dapper version of um, Stella Times on it. Compliments galore. Like, it was so crazy that I, on my way back, I stopped by Walmart to get some fruits for my son. And this man in Walmart saw me and he's like, um, excuse me, ma'am. Is that you? I'm like, I thought he knew me from somewhere. Like, did we go to school together? Did we do any, like, what's going on? And he's like, um, that smell. <laughs> is that you? Like, is that you smelling like that? I was like, uh, yeah. He's like, God damn it. <laughs> what is that? Guidance and Stella Times. So if you have the original Stella Times, you need to pair it with Guidance. The downside of Guidance and layering is... It's so strong and powerful that it overpowers every fragrance you pair it with. So I end up really over spraying this so I can get a little bit of this out. But together is really beautiful. And maybe it should have been on my spring um, layering combo. But hey, this is such a good combo that you need to check out. And also with um, Carmina, this too divine. This too smells like money. It smells like a rich woman, like a very classy, elegant lady. The next fragrance on my April perfume tray is um, uh, Ujo Intense by Fragrance Dubois. This is, uh, let's start. 
here you get pineapples and then you get a fruity basket you get jasmine you get i think there's orange blossom there's ylang ylang there's oud there's vanilla <sighs> i don't know what they put in here but i love this fragrance and you guys know i love the automizer i love how luxurious this is it makes me feel like luxury this is so good and i just cannot i need another fragrance du bois they released a new one with the pink bottle and when i tell you that bottle is everything like i am i i need it <laughs> i need it that bottle is so cute so i will be picking that one up oud orange intense i love that i got the juliana's version of oud orange intense and i love it so i know i would love the real deal but Ujo intense is definitely going to be on my april perfume tray because i want to be smelling like luxury in the month of april the next fragrance on april perfume tray is blossom love by amouage i have been loving blossom love lately blossom love has been doing something to me the house of amouage has been doing something to me like the way they are going they're giving Zerjov a run for his money. Like, Zerjov, what you doing? Wake up. Like, get up. <laughs> this has been so good. I can't believe I didn't like it at first. But I felt like this one, I was like, it's very sweet. Um, It's giving Ariana Grande and it's okay. And then I started using it more and more, more and more. And now I'm like, let me see if I have anything here. Oh, this. I love it it's so unique i know that there's cherry blossom in here but i love this this is so good and it has that amouage quality that i love that uniqueness for amouage absolutely beautiful blossom love is definitely on april's perfume tray so let's move her over here the next fragrance on my april perfume tray is from the house of zerjov and this is called wadesina this is a rose and tobacco fragrance it's very unique very different the first time i sniffed this i was like what's going on in here oh, this is so good <laughs> this is so good i don't think i've really talked about this fragrance like i really haven't and i don't have anything that smells like this this fragrance lasts for hours and hours you know zerjoff is very long lasting especially the velvet collection like their fragrances last a long time so in Wadesina, in the top notes, you get green notes. I don't know. I'm not picking up on that. In the middle notes, you get Bulgarian rose, saffron, patchouli, and cedar. Now I get the rose, and I get the saffron, and I get the patchouli. Now in the base notes, you get tobacco, you get musk, and you get vanilla. This is beautiful. Very unique, very different, and definitely an underrated Zerjov and I don't talk about it as much I don't think I've ever talked about it the only time I talked about it maybe it was when I bought it but I don't think I featured it in any video so we'll be bringing her out and she will be added to the April perfume tray the next fragrance on my April perfume tray this is by BDK and this is Nuit de Sab this is a cardamom rose fragrance this fragrance is very unique not for the faint of heart very niche smelling do not blind buy it it is extremely unique but it's a massive compliment getter for me all the times i've worn this i've gotten compliments and it is so unique in the top notes you get nutmeg sandalwood and cardamom in the middle notes you get turkish rose rose and sand and in the base you get nutmeg tonka bean ambroxan and musk very very unique very unique and i actually really really love this fragrance i think it's one of those fragrances that's very underrated nobody really cares about it like in the house this just flies under the radar so this is such a beautiful fragrance i have brought her out because i've been layering her with passe soie and both of them will be on the april tray because they are both stunning together and they're also good by themselves so passe soie is a ginger fragrance the ginger note is so good, and I think there's jasmine here too. In Passesua, you get ginger, mandarin, and black pepper at the top. In the middle, you get quince, jasmine, and orange blossom. And in the base, you get cashmere, amber wood, 
and patchouli and this is so stunning this is a good signature scent some people love it some people don't but i love to layer both of them now together the last fragrance on my april perfume tray is i'm putting this on the tray to remind myself that i must get a full bottle this is navanesque from the house of hfc paris this fragrance is doing to me what opera did to me i must have a full bottle if you have not tried Navanesque, what is in here? This is so intoxicating. This is so good. Like, I am obsessed. I need a full bottle. I need to get this for the best price I can find it. I don't want to pay full price. If I can find this for a good price, I will be picking it up, especially for my birthday. I have to have this. I have to have Navanesque. You have to get this to experience it. It's boozy, it's gourmand, but it's not gourmand at all. Oh, this is so good. And I am putting her on the tray as a reminder that I need a full bottle. And speaking of um, stuff that I need to get full bottle, I will be testing all these fragrances in the month of April. So I need to do a video of all of them. I have a whole bunch. This is not even a lot. This is just like a mini box. I have so much samples that I need to go through and test out. And I will try to do it in April and May. So I have those that I will be testing out. So April is also going to be the month that I will be testing and testing and testing. So stay tuned for the testing fragrances video so you can get my thoughts on this. Some of them, god's gonna help us because there's one day that i'm like what the like wtf that was a fail <laughs> a horrible fail and i thought i was gonna love it but that was such a fail so stay tuned for that video but these are the fragrances that i will be adding to my april perfume tray and i know i will be smelling like money i know i'll be smelling so good in the month of april so let me know what fragrances you are excited to try in the month of April. Do you own any of these fragrances that I talked about? Or are they on your wish list? Let me know in the comments below. Like I always say, in all things, what do we do? We add glitter. Whenever you're in doubt, what do we do? Oh, we add, look at me. Just throw me in there. Add more me. <laughs> add more glitter and when all else fails and your back's against the ropes your back is against the wall what do we do how do we get out of that sticky situation i was gonna use bake to get us out of that sticky situation but let's just pull the newest um baddie in the fan bam this is la corte by ferragamo she's gonna get us out of that sticky situation because she's jasmine she's opulent and she's rich and when you're rich you cannot be in a sticky situation with all that money but what we do we add more glitter thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in another video of course you're gonna see me i am not going anywhere if i go who's gonna use this new fragrance that i, I just got who's gonna use this <sighs> oh this is very unisex, very, and the jasmine, this is so good.